What is going on everyone? Nostalgia 9 to 5 coming at you with another Digi Question episode. Except that we're not going to be answering a question here, but rather explain a Digimon group that does not exist but was made by a fan. I'm talking about the new Demon Lords group made by Silver Buller, who gave us a big and solid explanation of the idea behind it. The new Demon Lord group is sort of like the equivalent of the 7 Demon Lords group, but with different characters, each of which has its own story and specialty. You'll see that the new Demon Lords does make sense and could actually bring a very interesting twist to the Digimon universe. An interesting twist, great interactions and more tension in the dark area and beyond. Now I did briefly mention the group in the previous Digi question episode where we discussed whether Melomyotismon was a former 7 Demon Lord or not. There are lots of interesting comments that will leave you with thinking more and more about the infinite possibilities when it comes to Digimon stories. As Silver Buller gave us a big text to explain the why behind each member of the Seven Demon Lords, I will mostly be reading the whole text that was written and I will give my thoughts immediately after. Alright, let us get ahead and explain the new Demon Lords. Silver Buller began with the following, I quote, We all know of the Seven Great Demon Lords, however there have been a few other Digimon that are considered the Demon Lords but are not one of the Seven Great Demon Lords. These have included Melomyotismon, Ghoulmon, Mermukusmon and Bagramon and a few others that have come close. Recently though, we got Bolt Bautamon who has plans of replacing the Demon Lords and it has the power and means to do so as well. So I thought if it ever does manage to pull this off, who would it get to replace the other Demon Lords with? Let me give you all some context. The whole story will obviously happen in the Dark Area, a very mysterious area. I say so because most know it as the Digimon Universe version of Hell, but it's actually more than just that. There are lots of mysteries behind its creation, how it works, and there are lots of mysteries behind its residents and what their roles are. Some claim to be the rulers of the area, but are actually contributing to making the area more unstable. For example, it is said that the area is governed by Plutomon, except that Plutomon does not per se reside in the dark area as it wanders the world pursuing criminals and villains who deserve to fall into the realm of the dead, aka the dark area. The souls of dead Digimon, good or bad, will be judged by Anubismon, who will then decide whether the Digimon will be reborn but as a Digi-Egg and start the Digimon life cycle again, or it will be sealed for eternity in the dark area. This led to the Digimon Chronicle X story, where the sealed Digimon were in such a huge quantity, each of them with their own powers, and they attempted to break out of the dark area and they actually succeeded in doing so. That is why I say that the dark area is a mysterious area because the inhabitants have questionable roles in it, the inhabitants can escape it, and the area as a whole seem to have many pseudo rulers. Digimon who claim to be rulers, while in reality they are not really. Let me say it like that, they don't have control over the entire territory and its subjects. One of those who claim to be the sovereigns of the Dark Area would be the Seven Great Demon Lords, a group that came to existence after the ancient failed rebellion of Demon Lords, Devils and Fallen Angel Digimon against the creator of the digital world. Those who were defeated or banished from the Digimon Heavens came into the Dark Area. That is why the Dark Area is primarily inhabited by Fallen Angel Digimon but is also inhabited by Digimon after being driven near to extinction. The seven Demon Lords are a group of Demon Lord Digimon who each represent one of the seven deadly sins. Behaviors or habits are classified under this category if they directly give rise to other immoralities. I'm talking about pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony and sloth. As an organization or a group if you prefer, the seven Demon Lords are very powerful as they have the right to command legends of soldiers if they so wish. Their sphere of influence is so big that they can bring big changes to the other Digimon realms and even the human world. Now despite being so powerful and feared, there are other Digimon in the dark area that either don't feel like joining them or who feel like they are above them, who feel like the seven Demon Lords rule is beneath them. The new Demon Lords, made by Silver Buller, is a collection of seven and actually eight Digimon who sort of like will form an opposition to the Seven Demon Lords, a group that will form their own rule of law. And as Silver Buller wrote, Bolt Batamon will be the one that will try and form the group. Silver Buller wrote the following, Replacing Demon as the Demon Lord of Wrath, his hatred knows no bounds, partly due to the circumstances of its birth. 
Originally a manifestation of the very darkness that exists in the dark area known as the Malevolent Fist, it created a body for itself by possessing Myotismon and Pythmon and then forcefully DNA digivolving the two of them together, which is said to be the source of its hatred. Its goal is to eradicate all lights and engulf the world in darkness. Its power is said to be so great that even before it gained a body, the original demon lords did not know how to stop it. Bolt Bautamon is said to have the power to end the old darkness the original demon lords created and replace it with its own superior darkness, and Bolt Bautamon has even been called the source of all evil in the digital world. As such, it has stationed itself as the leader of the new demon lords. What I like about Bold Bottomon's story, written by Silver Buller, is that we were given potential conflicts that might emerge between the members of the new Demon Lords, potentially bringing more directions to the story. The following was written. At first I was going to make Bold Bottomon represent the sin of pride, seeing that Lucimon was the original founder and leader of the Demon Lords. But since Bold Bottomon is so full of hate, and because I thought that Bagramon, another member of the new Demon Lords, was similar to Lucimon, I made it Wrath instead. It does seem that both Lucimon and Demon compete for leadership of the Demon Lords. As such, the same goes for Bagramon and Bold Bautamon. Bagramon is obviously a very very interesting addition to the mix due to the position it occupied when it was in the Digimon Angelic Realm. Bagramon originally was a high-ranking angel Digimon that ruled over death. However, it despaired against the unreasonable justice of the world and rebelled against God. It would be the perfect demon lord to represent the sin of wrath because Bagramon is an extremely prideful fallen angel Digimon with a huge grudge against God itself. Despite the fact that its sin will be forgiven if it repented, Bagramon does not want to go back to submission. It feels too proud and instead wants to banish God from the world with its new justice. This might give it more motivation and reason to join the new demon lords. Silver Buller said the following about Bagramon. Replacing Lucimon as a demon lord of pride. Seeing as its origin and motives are similar to those of Lucifer, it was easy to give it the title of pride. Once the highest ranking of all angel Digimon and the Digimon God's right hand, it disagreed with the order of the digital world and how the Digimon God ran things. It rebelled against the Digimon God and was smitten for it, permanently losing half its body, its angel wings and having its smaller white wings permanently burned black. Though it was said it would be forgiven if it repents, it instead commits further blasphemy by replacing the missing half of its body with wood cut from the server tree where the Digimon God's avatar Yggdrasil dwells. This gives it spiritual powers allowing it to rip the souls out of others and send them to heaven or hell as it pleases, or even put them inside another's body. The ruby it placed in its missing eye allows Bagramon to see anywhere in the digital world. Its goal is to completely destroy and rebuild the world the way it sees fit with Bagramon itself lording over everyone in order to ensure peace. Its power is even greater than that of Lucimon Chaos Mode. Now what is interesting about the choice of including Bagramon into the new Demon Lords is that Bagramon is not the only fallen angel Digimon. It is not the only Digimon who fell from grace. There were others that ended up dropping to the dark area because of specific reasons and Silver Buller took some of them to join the new Demon Lords and rightly so. One of such examples of other fallen angel Digimon that is now a member of the new Demon Lords is Murmukusmon, who also originally was a high ranking angel Digimon. I like this addition because to me it always felt that Murmukusmon was there along with Seraphimon when they rebelled against God. And speaking of said rebellion, Seraphimon has an alternate form called Shadow Seraphimon, the evil form of Seraphimon whose concealed inner resentment tumefied and engulfed it in darkness. It is said that one version of Shadow Seraphimon was formed from Mercurimon and Seraphimon sees data. You may be wondering who Mercurimon may be, right? Mercurimon is the direct human hybrid heir of the all-knowing ancient Wisemon, a member of the 10 legendary warriors but also a member of the 5 warriors of evil. Mercurimon acts as an advisor among the warriors of evil made by 5 members of the 10 legendary warriors, to whom it imparts its wisdom. Its data was seized along with the one of Seraphimon which created Shadow Seraphimon, a Digimon with the abilities of an angel and the tactics of Mercurimon. If this form persists for too long, Seraphimon will fall to become a demon, one of the seven great demon lords representing the sin of wrath. 
Now we can imagine that Demon wasn't alone in this rebellion. Perhaps Myrmekusman was also there working as a general. His profile says that it belongs to the ruling class of the Nightmare Soldiers with the title of Count and it manages 30 legends of demons. However, despite being a demon lord, it has never been stated that it belongs to the Great Seven Demon Lords. But still, inside the Dark Area, it does occupy a very privileged and powerful position. The scene of greed might be well fitting for Myrmokusmon because from its profile we can assume that it has an intense and selfish desire for wealth, power and lots of privileges. That's why Silver Buller said the following, Myrmokusmon replacing Babamon as the demon lord of greed due to its greed for power and its ability to manipulate others, both traits of Babamon, it was the logical choice for greed. Now, I mentioned the story of Seraphimon leading the rebellion with Mormokusmon among those at its side, because even though both were banished, it doesn't mean that they are going to continue their cooperation in the Dark Area. There are no rules in the Dark Area, and it may pretty much mean that Demon and Mormokusmon became enemies. After all, not all fallen angels are members of the Seven Great Demon Lords. Also, while Silver Buller found a replacement for Barbamon, let me talk about this Digimon for a moment, okay? Babamon is an expert manipulator, the most cunning schemer of the seven great demon lords. In the Explaining Victory Greymon video, I explained how smart and powerful it can become if it as much as put its mind into something and starts thinking about how to get there. Babamon can easily manipulate the mega level Ghoulmon, the same Digimon that Silver Buller placed as another member of the new demon lords. Here is what was written about Ghoulmon being a member of the new demon lords. Gulmon was once a high-ranking angel Digimon before falling from grace. Unlike others, it tends to remain neutral in the war between light and darkness. However, it is capable of becoming Gulmon Black, in which case it becomes a god of destruction, basically making it an evil version of Susanomon. As such, Gulmon is similar to Belfimon, who spends most of its time in its sleep mode, but will awaken after a thousand years as a force of destruction in its rage mode. Seeing as how Gulmon usually doesn't get involved with things, Sloth was obvious. It is already a demon lord type of Digimon which made it a logical choice as a replacement. That is true. Sloth means reluctance to work or reluctance to make an effort. It also means laziness, although I wouldn't call Gulmon lazy. The sin of Sloth would be fitting in a sense that Gulmon is very powerful just from the fact that it was a fallen angel Digimon, but also because it is one that will not just make a decision without having first been convinced. It is neutral, but does still have a form that can cause a lot of damage, so it needs to be convinced before unleashing said power. Will the new Demon Lords be able to convince it? Maybe. I am, however, very curious to see how an interaction between Barbamon and Gulmon will happen. Will Gulmon defend the side of the Seven Demon Lords or the New Demon Lords? That remains to be seen. The last fallen angel to be a part of the New Demon Lords would be Cherubimon, although in its evil form. Once said to be positioned at the ultimate virtue in the Digimon Angelic Heaven, along with Seraphimon, who became a demon, and Ophanimon, who became Lylamon, another member of the Seven Demon Lords. Silver Buller wrote the following. Replacing Leviamon as the Demon Lord of Envy, it seemed like the most logical choice for Envy since it was the very reason it became corrupt. Once a member of the three celestial angels, it became envious and jealous towards Seraphimon and Ophanimon. Now if you want my opinion, why not make it jealous towards God itself? After all, Sherubimon's duty is that of being a guardian of God and its wisdom. It might be that it would love to be in its place just for the sake of it. And pay attention, the sin of Envy that would be guiding Cherubimon to become envious of God will not be the same as the pride that led Lucifermon. That is because Lucifermon, based on the religious character Lucifer, felt better and higher than everyone around him. Here's an important quote about Lucifer that will set it apart from Cherubimon. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds, I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depths of the pit. Those who see you stare at you, they ponder your fate. Is this the man who shook the earth and made kingdoms tremble? 
the man who made the world a wilderness, who overthrew its cities and would not let his captives go home. This quote is a summary of Lucimon, who manifested itself in an era in which the digital world was still chaotic and therefore brought order and harmony, but as it instigated a rebellion in the far-flung past, it was sealed in the dark area along with many other demon lord Digimon and its abilities have been inherited and split among the Celestial Digimon, meaning Cherubimon, Seraphimon and Ophanimon, all three of which ended up being corrupted and therefore also being banished to the Dark Area. We are left with the other three members of the new Demon Lords. These last three don't have angelic roots, in fact, these three are demons who have their origins from pure darkness and are thereby three of the most evil Digimon in existence. Malomyotismon is one. And Silver Buller wrote the following, replacing Beelzmon as the Demon Lord of Gluttony. Is it any wonder I chose Melomaiotismon for Gluttony? Even in its previous form of Venomaiotismon, it was a total glutton and little more than a beast. After digivolving to Melomaiotismon, it regained the intelligence it had as a Maiotismon, but is still a glutton for energy. It's already a Demon Lord type of Digimon, which made it a logical choice as replacement. Myotismon always seemed to be the most evil villain in the entire Digimon franchise to me anyway. Gatomon was right in saying that there's nothing more evil than Melomyotismon. As I said in the previous Digi Questions episode, Melomyotismon is a smart Digimon that is ready to do whatever is needed to achieve its own desires. I think it would be more than fair that it would join the new Demon Lords because after all, the seven great Demon Lords are led by Lucimon. Call it the way you want, but as far as we all know, Luzimo wants to create the perfect world. There is a sense of morality behind the character, which explains his angelic and demonic sides. It has a contradictory existence in that one side of it loves all things, as God does, while the other is trying to destroy the whole world as the devil does, and that's why it wants to create a new world. The new Demon Lords are not led by a fallen angel Digimon, in fact, the strongest Digimon in the group are demons or embodiments of evil, start with Bold Bartomon up till the last member, which will be explained in a second. So this group of extremely evil Digimon are more fitting for Melomyotismon's wicked, inhumanely and cruel personality. This brings us to Golfmon, the second to last member of the new Demon Lords, a dark Digimon that emerged from the abyss of the dark area. It is as immense as a mountain. It is said that its hole is connected to the abyss of the dark area. The only thing this Digimon stands for is destruction. Heck, it is born in the dark area, would it know something else? Someone born in an area of lawlessness will or might end up adopting the ideology of lawlessness. And here is what Silver Buller wrote. Replacing Leilamon as the Demon Lord of Lust, it may seem like a strange choice for Lust, but truth be told, it was the only position I had left to fill. It was born from Apokalemon's data as the ultimate level Mephistomon before it digivolved to its mega level. Its voice is one of its most powerful abilities as by simply singing it can cause all those that hear its song to die. The Mo on its lower body is said to be able to suck up anything and is connected to the dark area where anyone who gets sucked into will have their digicore or soul shattered, trapping them in darkness forever. It is said to have the power to destroy the whole world in just 7 days. Even though Golfmon is officially a demon beast Digimon, it has sometimes been classified as a demon lord type. Let me tell you why I do think that Lost is a good fit for Golfmon. Lost has obviously mostly been depicted as a psychological force producing an intense desire for sexuality. Although it's not just about that. Lost is also an intense desire for something like money or power. In Golfmon's case, I think the Digimon has a strong lust, a strong desire to just destroy and kill. All of its attacks involve its singing something that will either instantly kill the ones who hear it or will kill slowly but certainly. Last member of the new Demon Lords, and actually the 8th member, would be Grand Drachmon. Silver Buller wrote the following. Replacing Ogudumon as the Super Demon Lord of Atonement, Ogudumon is born from all 7 Demon Lords merging together and, as such, it is the physical manifestation of all the sins in the digital world. Similarly, Grand Drachmon is basically and literally the Digimon version of the Devil. Its power is greater than all 7 of the Demon Lords combined and it is considered the King of Vampires. Grand Drachmon is the ruler of the Dark Area and possess all the knowledge of Heaven and Hell including how the Dark Area first came to be, and it even knows the mysteries of Death X evolution. 
It possesses an enchanted voice that can cause any angel Digimon to fall. Like Ogudemon, Grand Dragmon is seemingly indestructible as since Ogudemon can neutralize any attacks used against it that contain even a hint of malice. Grand Dragmon possesses an immortal undying body. Even though it is officially a demon beast Digimon, it has sometimes been classified as a demon lord type. I like Grand Dragmon to be the final member because its knowledge is way superior than its members and even the members of the seven great demon lords. I say that because so far no one knows how the dark area came to be. No one but Grand Dragmon. This Digimon is one of the prime examples showing that the authority of the seven great demon lords is not absolute throughout the dark area as Grand Dragmon has kept a castle within it since ancient times and is powerful enough that it need not submit to them. I love the new demon lords and I think they have lots of potential. I do have an interesting comment here of someone with the nickname Chaos Blood Ninja who commented in the video talking about whether Melomaiutismon was a seven demon lord. Let me quote the following. I think Melomaiutismon as far as demon lords goes is generally beneath the standards set by the seven great demon lords. Its pandemonium flame attack is said to be far weaker than Barbamon's pandemonium lost after all. And among the new seven demon lords, Sharubimon Vice is a corrupted variant of one of the three archangels, the other two of which are pre-evolved forms of two existing members of the seven, which I'd say also probably puts it below their level. Golfmon, having been defeated by the three main mons in Tamers, while in their perfect forms, implies it is weaker than Beelzemon who was able to quite easily handle the same group even when Wargrolmon had evolved to Megidramon and Murmurkusmon was shown in Digimon Next to be subservient to Barbamon. Other than Grand Dragmon, I think Bagramon is the one with the best shot at challenging the Seven's authority as it contains a part of Yggdrasil on its body and was able to command Lilithmon as one of his generals, with even a shot in the manga implying that Lucimon knew better than to oppose Bagramon when the cross wars began. Yeah, this is the end of the video, truly a fun, fun video. Shout out to Silver Buller, the link towards the new Demon Lords page is in the comment section. I love the way everything was written, it was solid, it was detailed and it was considering a lot like the profile, the stories etc. That is the type of document I love to work with. I want you guys to write your opinions down below in the comment section concerning the new Demon Lords. What do you think about it and what impact would you think it would have in the Digimon lore? Write all your ideas in the comment section down below and if possible make sure that Silver Buller sees this video. I hope the person will know that I really appreciated the work. Now in case you guys are new make sure to also drop a like and subscribe, that is if you want more Digimon and now even Pokemon related videos. Know that all my videos are placed in well defined playlists which are always updated, that way you can easily catch up on the newest and oldest videos.